we want to give you now a general introduction how this uh, general process of breathing retraining works. So, yeah, can you please explain us a little bit about this mm -hmm. breathing normalization mm -hmm. process? So what happens here is that our purpose in breathing retraining is to slow down our automatic or unconscious breathing, the way we breathe day at night. And that's really important to understand because a lot of people, when they hear about the Bottega technique, for example, they just search for Bottega breathing exercises, yeah. thinking that doing exercises is going to create a miracle in their lives, yeah. which is in a way correct, but it may not be always true because what we are trying to retrain, to change, is our way of breathing. And the most important uh, time of the day when we like measure our breath would be when we wake up in the morning because that reflects our breathing during sleep. Yeah. So that's that like kind of yeah. to explain this background because uh, every person has certain breathing pattern mm -hmm. during night, during mm -hmm. nights. And of course, we can measure, we can do special <coughs> tests using devices, we can do body oxygen test as well, which yeah. students do. And that helps us to define where the person is. So when people are sick and they suffer from all these common diseases of civilization, asthma, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and, and many so more, as Dr. Bottega found, and I have again dozens of studies, you can open homepage of normalbriefing.com, see the big, big table with around 35, 40 clinical studies which measure the ventilation, yeah. how much people breathe, saying that people breathe uh, two, three times more than the medical norm. Mm. So people breathe heavier, in medicine they call it hyperventilation, and that means we have less CO2 and less oxygen as well. So you yeah. can find studies which describe the effect that hyperventilation makes us less oxygenated. So therefore our goal is to retrain our breathing pattern starting from certain degree of hyperventilation that people have and gradually, week after week, sometimes month after month, mm -hmm. takes efforts, yeah. takes diligence, practice, so yeah, yeah. self-discipline. People are able to change, to make changes. And that would allow them to slow down their breathing, have more oxygen, the immune system starts to normalize, sleep gets better and shorter. Yeah. Physical <laughs> exercise is much easier. People start to enjoy exercise. Yeah. They can do like two hours or longer. They are able to take cold showers. So breathing retraining process involves movement uh, along the Bottega table of health zones. This table you can actually see in many, many uh, photos of Dr. Bottega himself in the background of himself, yeah. uh, indicating that that's actually a really important part of his life. And it is, yes. As he discovered that it's actually yeah. the central uh, discovery of uh, his technique. So how it would work in terms of Bottega uh, health zone is According to Dr. Bottega, and this is how he discovered the technique, the death corresponds to overbreathing. It's, it's true, there are studies, medical studies, claiming that overbreathing, deep breathing, or hyperventilation disease, last stage of disease, it's like minus seven zone, corresponds to the situation when people breathe so heavily yeah. that they die. Yeah. And medical studies show up to 85-90% of people when they die from chronic diseases, die in conditions of severe hyperventilation, yeah. overbreathing. And ordinary people would have somewhere to be somewhere around this, uh, when we are quite sick around this zone, when we have only 10 seconds for the body oxygen test, very low result, and that means we breathing pattern is very heavy, we would breathe somewhere around probably 20 liters per minute or more. And so this is the initial point, we don't have automatic pause, and automatic pause appears later when people start to slow down their breathing, that's the pause which people will naturally take during the breath, inhale, exhale, the pause, inhale. Yeah. This is, some, again, unconscious of breathing yeah. pattern. During you sleep and uh, yeah, when, people, when people don't pay attention to their yeah. breath, absolutely. So when we have uh, over breathing, we have low CO2 levels in the alveoli of the lungs, and that makes them less oxygenated. We have very high breathing frequency, up to 26. The last stage here would be 30 breaths a minute, before death, when people die, it can be even higher, 40 breaths a minute, yeah. many studies show. Heart rate, average numbers in most people would be higher. Mm -hmm. Some groups would be specifically a very common noticeable feature, like heart disease, other conditions, hundred beats at rest, very, very high heart rate. This is what sick people are. When people start to slow down the briefing, and this is the idea of briefing retraining, mm -hmm. then the briefing frequency starts to get smaller and smaller, yeah. Little by little, step by step, again takes weeks or months for breathing retraining. The CO2 level starts to increase in alveoli, and if they don't have ventilation perfusion this much, if lungs are normal, heart normal, 
normal. That means the blood would also get more CO2 yeah. and body cells get more oxygen. And that is manifested in better and better results for the body oxygen test. And then what would happen again when people start to improve, the symptom starts to disappear, we require less and less medication, yeah. whatever types of medication we take. And at certain stage, depending on the health condition, on the symptoms of the person, yeah. uh, all symptoms can disappear, all medication will be unnecessary. Yeah. And people are able to restore just half part of what is to change yeah. our automatic and conscious breathing. Yeah. We are going to discuss this topic as well, how it relates to physical exercise and related uh, diet, sleep as well, yeah. partially. Uh, there are many other videos in this area. And we are going to discuss also health conditions. Uh, yeah. When we are going to disappear, what are the typical symptoms and how we are going to address. But, but uh, I have two questions, Arthur. Uh, one thing is, uh, you mentioned, often mention now this uh, body oxygen test. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I want to add here that, of course, you, you have a video about it, so check it out. It's in the description below what is with this body, uh, how to do the body oxygen uh, test. And the other thing is what happens when people, uh, I'm interested, what happens when people uh, manage to get very good breathing, like uh, pranayama masters or, or people who are very advanced at the Buteyko method in the uh, upper levels, what, what will happen there? Well, people have zones of super health, so according to Dr. Buteyko, very few people like to achieve this stage because even uh, to get 60 seconds for the body oxygen test to achieve the Buteyko norm, because his norm is a little bit tighter or stricter in yeah. comparison with medical norm because medical norm would be right here 12 breaths a minute 5.5% 5.3% of mm -hmm. CO2 40 seconds for the body oxygen test so that's a medical norm when people achieve higher levels there are many additional benefits and that's probably the reason why Dr. Buteyka uh, taught to his doctors and kind of recommended suggested and tried to uh, make it certain that we would achieve high levels for the yeah. body oxygen test because then we are able to understand the Buteyko technique uh, much better. Uh, additional, in terms of like what type of symptoms or what type of like health effects people can experience, uh, there are many above 60 seconds, like for example, people get very short sleep, four or five hours or less, yes. naturally without trying, which is, I see all my students who get to this uh, stage. And uh, people get uh, very high levels of energy. Physical exercise becomes totally easy. People start to enjoy great physical exercise. Yeah. Mental clarity, like people would do work with much fewer mistakes, like yeah. starting like somewhere where most people are with like 20 seconds for the body oxygen test. Uh, would be common to make like smaller mistakes, maybe a little bigger. Yeah. But the number of mistakes, like uh, the quality of work would increase dramatically. Yeah people slow down their breathing because it allows better oxygen supply, blood supply and better uh, general state of the mind of the nervous system. So there are many other benefits like women can experience painless childbirth according to Russian sources. I did not have chance level. at high levels. Yeah, yeah. Sure. People are able to claim like maybe even to see auras around other people when we have CP90 second. But they grow that people have digestion abilities especially at higher zones when they get more than 90 seconds uh, for the test, able to digest, probably even to digest, to extract like iron, if we eat like some let's say, like, yeah. things with like all, in, in Russia we wrote that humans would be able to digest nails, yeah. as would take a road, okay. and then would be also another situation, probably even digesting bones might be possible too, yeah. because like a dog's cats, if we know that. So there are many additional kind of benefits yeah. which are present there, but these are like a kind of area which also fully understood because there are yeah. so few people it's, uh, who are really uh, scientifically yeah. exceptionally hard because even in clinical trials the improvements like in asthma other yeah. conditions relatively small maybe at, at the order of 10-15 uh, seconds for the CP test for the body oxygen and that means we just move one zone better that already allow uh, to experience big improvements in the medication and uh, lifestyle and symptoms greatly reduced so that would be yeah. the general overview of how the technique yeah. works, we need to slow down yes, our breathing. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah.